Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are talking about 2022 makeup forecasts. We are predicting the future. My name is Fortune. That might be ironic. I am trending this year, y'all. I'm just gonna say it. I'm throwing it out there. I am trending. She is in, she is hot. She is luxury in 2022. I'm a makeup artist. I've been doing my makeup for a really long time and I just know what looks good on me and what doesn't. So what might be in, say like a really thick, bold black eyeliner, I'm not gonna wear it because it doesn't suit my face, it doesn't flatter my face. The way that I've been doing my makeup for years is finally in. I am in, she is it, this is the it girl. So if you watch my channel and you enjoy the way that I do my makeup, guys, I'm so excited because we're cool this year. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before we hop into this video. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel because I'm gonna tell you about all these trends and then I'm going to continue to do my makeup the same and we'll just be trending together. So if you've gone ahead and done just that, then let's go ahead and hop right into the video. A lot of you are very offended by my brows. Whenever my brows look different, some of you get very upset. Today, I actually just threw on a gel, like uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow dip. I think that's what it's called, gel on my brows, because Mike and I, we went to lunch with my sister. We had a lovely time. I had such a good time. But I only had 15 minutes to do my makeup, so I didn't put a lot of makeup on, and I'm sure a lot of you are gonna comment asking me why my brows look different. In 2022, we are not being hard on ourselves, whether it's makeup or just life, okay? That's my trend that I'm choosing for 2022, but also makeup wise, nothing's supposed to be perfect. We're just supposed to be creative and do what feels good. And you know what? My brows just felt good this morning. So if you're upset by them, ignore them. Okay, just ignore them, bypass them. Let's not take it too seriously because makeup is not supposed to be serious. Guys, you wash it off with water, okay? It's not that deep. Number one, this is the only way that I do my lipstick. I've been saying this from the get-go. Pick a lip liner that is two to three shades at a minimum darker than your lipstick. It's going to bring more definition to your lips. It's gonna make your lips look juicier. I have a bunch of darker lip liners for those of you who are fair, especially to medium skin tone. The first one is Makeup Forever in the lip liner shade Versatile Chestnut. The second one, we have MAC Cork, which is your traditional, kind of like true brown shade. Then we have MAC Strip Down, which is more of a beigey brown. And then last but not least, I wanted to give you guys like a stepping stone shade before we get into the deeper shades and also a drugstore option, but this is NYX in the shade Natural. The boldest one out of the bunch is definitely MAC in Cork. It's what I'm wearing today. I love to pair a dark brown lip liner with a red. I just think it gives really beautiful dimension. I feel like you can't really see it as much in this lighting because I am just so pale and it is so bright in here. But I will put all of the lip liners that I mentioned right here and all the other products that I'm going to mention down below in the description. I know a lot of you have expressed to me that you love buying a lipstick and then pairing it with a matching lip liner. And like I said in the beginning of this video, you know, if that is your thing, if you feel like you look the best with that kind of lip look, keep doing you, boo. I totally support you. I really want you to pick up a lip liner that is a few shades darker than the lipstick you are going to wear and see what happens because I really think that it will be life-changing. You know, we pick nude lipsticks because they're easy and picking a new lipstick with a lip liner shade that's a couple shades darker is still gonna be easy, but it's gonna make more of a statement. It's gonna make your lips look bigger, juicier, and I think you just might like the result. So give it a try. Honestly, I have never, I don't think I've ever worn a lip liner that actually matches my lipstick. And if you do try it and you've never tried it before, let me know down below in the comments how it went for you. I would love to hear. Natural highlighters are in. That blinding beaming highlight that is super silvery looking or pink looking or gold looking, they are out. A natural kind of like creamy highlight is definitely in. I think 2022 is gonna be a lot about letting the skin breathe and letting the skin look really natural. This is just like a clear product that I have been loving for a really long time. It is literally like, look at that. It's blinding, but like on your skin, it's just gonna look like your skin is naturally dewy. I think this is a great product and I love it for this trend, but I really think that the best way to do this trend in 2022 is to just put really nice skincare on your face, okay? And then don't powder this section. Like I am not wearing any highlight today. I'm not wearing a powder highlight. I'm not wearing this cream highlight, but like, just look, my skin is naturally 
gleaming because I took the time this morning to wash my face, put on my daily serum, put on my daily SPF, and then I put a really nice hydrating skin tint on. Kosas, that's all that I wore on my face today because my skin is really dry. Girlfriend, you would never know it. Looking at the side of my face, you would never know that a betch is dry. And then I just didn't powder this section. I only powdered under, I don't powdered. I only powdered underneath my eyes and around my mouth and a little bit in between my brows. Girl, save your money. Save your money. You don't need a dewy highlight like this. This is just like a glorified stick Vaseline. So you could literally, and I used to do this, I would take Vaseline, take it on my finger, put it on the back of my hand, and then tap it into my skin. I also used to do it with clear lip gloss. I would put gloss on the back of my hand. I would put chapstick on the back of my hand. And again, just make sure you're pressing it into your skin so that you're not moving any of the makeup that you've already applied to your face. Trend number three, you guys know I say it all the time, but blush, blush, blush. And you know what I say about blush. Blush is a complexion product in my opinion. So instead of just putting blush on your cheeks right here, do that cute little W across your nose. And then once you've done that, take what's ever left on your brush. I pat a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. I just make it all look very cohesive. It's very youthful. It's very flattering. I love a good skin moment. Okay. And some days I got to fake it till I make it as I know most of us do. Okay. I'm not, I don't always have a great skin day, but if you take that blush and you put it everywhere, you can even put it actually did this day because I was in such a rush and this is a tip little trick that I do when I'm in a rush doing my makeup I'll take some cream blush and just like put it right here just throw it into my crease just to kind of make everything tie together because again complexion product it's not blush it's not blush it's a complexion product I wanted to highlight some cream blush products here today because we're going for that natural highlight kind of glossy skin finish. Cream blush is going to do more of that for you than any powder could ever do. Some of my favorite blushes, I don't even need to spend a lot of time here because these have just been on repeat. Tower 28 Beach Please. I am so obsessed with these. Honestly, I use these every day. Happy Hour, you've seen both of these shades on me before, but this literally matches the shade of my natural flush. So I can literally put this everywhere. It looks super, super natural on me. These are really, really creamy. This is probably my favorite, favorite one, but then this is more of like a sophisticated shade. I'm pretty sure this is the shade that I'm wearing today, but I only put a little bit on because I was in a rush. And also these lights kind of wash everything out. This is in the shade After Hours, which it looks really, really purple in the pan. Let me get my, let me get my brush. I'll put some more. And it's just, it's so, yes. Why didn't I do this before starting this video? Um, it's so beautiful. Like it looks very, very purple in the pan, but it's not. And these will just like, a little goes a very long way. Let me show you how I would do this as a complexion product. Oh my God, I am like very scatterbrained today. Um, I had a lot of coffee. I had two cups of coffee this morning, but really like two cups of coffee in terms of like the pot, it's six. So while I sat down and had two cups, it was really six cups. And then, like I said, we went out to lunch with my sister and I had another cup. So I had seven or maybe eight cups of coffee today. So I'm a little, uh, a little scatterbrained. Okay, can you see like the W? Oh, it's so good. And then I'll take what's ever left over, like I said, and I'll put it on my forehead and I'll put a little bit on my chin just like that. And it kind of just, ooh, girl, it just like ties everything in together. Did she just come back from a beach vacation? Probably not because she's still pale AF, but it's just like a beautiful, beautiful flush. And like I said before, I'll take some of this and I'll just throw some in the crease like that some days and then I'll just throw mascara on and that's it. But these are absolutely beautiful. Also, this brush is beautiful. I think this brush is discontinued, but get a brush that is this shape because it's just going to pat it into the skin. And you guys saw, I did a patting, pressing motions. Don't swipe. Swiping makeup on is never in. I don't even care what year it is. This is the first cream blush I ever bought and I was with my aunt and I bought it with her right before the pandemic. I just have always been a powder lover ever since COVID started, I don't know what it is. I got my hands in cream products, cream makeup, and it has just been life-changing for me. For a girl with Sahara Desert-like skin, it's been life-changing. And this is a beautiful, beautiful shade, MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Cheer Up. And then honorable mention, I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere. I think I may have left it at work, but the Honest Beauty Cream Blush in Peony Pink, 
beautiful. I love it. If you're looking for something more affordable, get your hands on that one. You can't go wrong with these four blushes. And again, they're listed down below. Oh, 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 and I forgot this one. This is actually the one that I wore today. And I never wear- Sorry, could you say that oh, again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Yesterday I was home alone because Mike went to go get his haircut. I'm not kidding you. I was sitting up here and we have a little Alexa, Alexa or Echo, whatever the name is, downstairs. I'm not even kidding you. I was sitting here, I was working and Alexa was having a whole ass conversation with someone downstairs. Guys, I kid you not. I shut my door and I locked it. I was so terrified, which in hindsight, Mike told me the other day that he was home and he saw like a shadow or a figure move across the kitchen. Chills, chills, I have chills. But I have a history of like seeing weird things in my lifetime. So when people tell me that they see things like such, I believe them, I don't even question them. I believe them whether they're kidding or not. I'm like, yes, girl, yes, man, been there, done that. But so he literally told me that story and then the next day was yesterday and I'm sitting up here by myself and she had a whole ass conversation downstairs. Oh my God, the ghost of Christmas past is here. Anyway, um, this is also really beautiful. <laughs> Hello. Say beauty, do blush in the shade peachy. Beautiful, just like everyday easy blush. It is so freaking pretty. I love it. It'll keep the color, but it fades a little bit. Like it's not as pigmented and it looks so, so pretty but it's just not a shade that shows up in these bright lights. Trend number four of 2022 is minimal foundation and concealer. We are going for a bare faced babe look. And I feel like that's kind of fitting because it's kind of what I did today. I am wearing like the bare minimum. I've always been someone that likes a lighter, kind of foundation. Something that if you put one layer on, it's light. If you go in with a second layer, you can build it up to be medium coverage. I don't like a full coverage foundation just because I feel like one, they're heavy on the skin. Since I have sensitive skin, it can kind of irritate my skin. And my skin really likes to breathe. 2017, 2016, I don't know. I think it was 2017. That was like all the rage, full coverage, like Nikki tutorials when she would like stamp out her entire face and erase her face, that was in. But it's just hard to get away with. And if you're in a rush, mm, which we're in a rush in 2022, we are in a rush to get to where we are going because we've been inside again for so long that we have places to be. So when you're in a rush, I don't think that like full coverage foundation is the thing. If you don't blend it out nice enough, very obvious. If you don't bring it down your neck all the way, very obvious, it can kind of look like you're wearing a mask. So minimal foundation and concealer is the trend, okay? You can use any kind of foundation you want. If you have a fuller coverage foundation, don't go out and buy a new one. Just get a little bit of face oil, mix in a little bit of face oil and just like dilute it, okay? That is my tip to you. However, if you are looking for something that is more light, like the lightest that you could possibly go, but like the most beautiful, radiant, comfortable kind of base. Guys, this is it. I did a whole wear test on it. I did a two day wear test of this. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce. I will link the video up here if you would like to see this beautiful product in all of its glory. I cannot get enough of this. This is so beautiful. It kind of just like makes my whole face look radiant. There's not a lot of coverage, but the way that it picks up the light, it kind of just like diffuses the face and makes me look like I'm wearing like an Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you wanna call it, like filter. It is so good. It is so good. This is pretty hydrating, but if you want something that is clean beauty, and I think a little bit even better for your skin, this is what I'm wearing today. So this is what it is. I mean, my skin looks effing good. Like I look juicy, right? This is so good guys. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I put some on the back of my hand and then I apply it to my face with my fingers. Don't apply this with a brush. Don't apply this with a sponge. It's just going to take away too much of the product because it's so thin. Use this with your fingers. That is the best way to apply this product. Beauty Blender, I feel like it's kind of obvious. This product goes on best with a beauty blender. I wish I had some concealers here to uh, recommend to you, but the, I have not found, this was not a good year for concealer for me, okay? We're almost to the end, but trend number five. Bold eyes, such as graphic liner, bright color, bejeweled. Think of like euphoria. I feel like euphoria eyes are definitely gonna be in. Graphic liners, sparkles, rhinestones, colored liners, did I say that already?
I did a video on how to create any colored eye liner without spending a lot of money. Mixing medium, or even if you just use your setting spray and dampen a colored eyeshadow, and then you just get a nice like eyeliner brush. You can just make any eyeshadow that you own an eyeliner. If you wanna see that video, I'll link it up here. I think like in the summer, I'll definitely incorporate more colors onto my lid. I'm really feeling like a blue moment. I don't know why. I just like every time I see blue, I'm just like attracted to it lately. I don't know what it is like a royal rich blue mm. okay this one I, I don't know we'll see I might try it bold bright hot pink lip and I have to say I was on this trend circa 2013 your girl rocked candy yum yum every single weekend like every Saturday it was like a tradition I woke up had my coffee, went to the gym, came home, showered, got dressed, candy yum yum, slathered all over my lips. And I just think I killed it. A beautiful color that looks beautiful on everyone. I just don't know because I got rid of all my hot pink lips. Actually, last year I did. In 2021, I decluttered all of my hot pink lipsticks because I was like, I didn't care that it wasn't in. It's just not me, and I don't think it's me. I would suggest Candy Yum Yum. I think they still have that shade, and I have no other ones to recommend to you because I really don't wear hot pink lips. But watch me, watch me. My punk ass will be wearing hot pink lipsticks this summer. I just, I know, I'm sitting here and I'm like, no, I got rid of them, I don't want them, it's not me. It might be me. Last but not least, I'm very, very excited for this trend because I feel like this is such an understated trend. But kitten liner, just a quick little flick, a flick of a wrist, a flick of a wing. That's all you need. You don't need a long overpowering liner on your lids. And I just, I love this trend because this is a trend that I think looks beautiful on everyone. Whether you have big eyes, small eyes, any kind of eyes, any kind of face structure, I think a little feline flick is beautiful. It's going to flatter your face. It's going to elongate your eyes. It's going to give you that sophisticated feline kind of effect. A lot of people cannot rock a bold liner. Too heavy on the eyes. I certainly can't. Um, I used to draw really long wings. I didn't notice that it looked bad on me until I started doing other people's makeup. I would go, I would do someone's makeup. I would do a really long wing. And honestly, to be honest, a lot of the time you end up with a long wing, like out to here because you mess up. In order to fix it, you just keep adding and adding and adding until your wing is like out to here. And that would not only happen to me when I would do my own makeup, but that would happen to me when I would do other people's makeup. A couple times I took a step back and the wing looked beautiful. Like it was crisp, it was clean. I got them both to match one another on my clients face and I took a step back and I was like, ooh, that doesn't look good on you. Just their face couldn't handle it. My face can't handle it either. I think a beautiful like kitten liner is just sophisticated, sexy, and I'm really, really into it. So if you're someone that struggles with eyeliner looking good on you, try a kitten liner. And if you're not good at achieving a kitten liner, what I would say is bypass a liquid liner, okay? If you're not good at liner, first and foremost, you should not be using a liquid liner. Use a coal liner. And what I would do is I would just line the physical lid. So just keep it to where the eye is. Stop where the eye ends. Get yourself an angled brush and take what's ever on your lid and just pull it out. Just pull it out because that coal liner is malleable enough where it'll give you a little time to play with it and pull it. The best ways to try makeup trends if you're not sure how to do them or you're unsure what it will look like, do it before you're gonna wash your face at the end of the day, do it before you're gonna shower. You know, no one is going to see you. And if you look crazy, you're the only one that's gonna see you look crazy. Maybe your dog, maybe your cat, maybe your husband, maybe your kids, but like, it doesn't matter. They'll love you anyway. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments, what forecasts are you most excited about? I am most excited about the 90s lip just because I do it every day. And it's, it's gonna be the most used trend for me because like I said, that's the only way that I do my lips. But I'm very curious to hear what you are most excited about. Is there a trend that you're not excited about? Mine would definitely be the pink lips or the bold eyes because I'm just lazy and I like a quick kind of eye. Today I'm wearing uh, Laura Mercier, one of her caviar sticks. I literally just like put it on my lid and then boop, boop, boop. Is there a trend that you saw, maybe read somewhere that you're excited about that I didn't include in this video? Anything that you guys wanna talk about? I love to talk to you. So let's talk about it.
at it. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. Check out some of the videos that I'm gonna leave at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.